I'm Denver Mayor Michael Hancock, and I'm proud to welcome you back to the future home of the National Western Center. Today marks an important milestone as we officially begin construction on the first of two bridges that will connect the National Western Center to its surrounding neighborhoods of Blowville and Ilaria Swansea. The 51st Avenue Bridge not only creates new multimodal connection points, but will also attach directly to the South Platte River Trail, providing a seamless experience for bikers, walkers, and joggers. And of course, we'll be within reach of the newly renovated 80-acre Carpio Sanguinetti Park. In addition to connectivity, this bridge construction plays a critical role in opening access to the South Platte Riverfront, a space that has been inaccessible for generations. We're removing more than 14,000 feet of rail. We're eliminating more than 1,800 feet of wastewater pipes. And we're creating six acres of open space for recreation, relaxation, and community gatherings. Our neighborhood needs to have access to the rest of the city. Right now, well, we're isolated and uh, bound by the river, railroad tracks, and the highway. And this is one step in uh, making us, the rest of the city more readily accessible to the people in the neighborhood. This bridge marks a major milestone in reconnecting to these historic neighborhoods and also celebrates the important history and heritage of this community. The new bridge will feature artwork from one of Denver's very own artists, the talented David Garcia. Up top here is the Sun Bridge and then the Moon Bridge. The 51st Avenue Bridge is called People's Bridge of the Sun and Betty Cram Drive Bridge is People's Bridge of the Moon. Rather than telling a story, the, this piece is going to be more of like creating uh, a space. So it's like, it's, a, it's, it's more of like, what, what's the possibility for the future? And so it's about connecting people, activating the, the bridges, the spaces, the location. Inspirational space that you can interact with. As you can see, construction is full steam ahead here at the National Western Center, and we can't wait to share this space with you. Thank you to our contractors, program team and partners for all their hard work in getting to this point. We can't wait to share what's next. Follow our progress on social media and at nationalwesterncenter.com.